Hey, what's up guys? I'm bringing another video on using Yardbook. Yardbook is a software system for lawn care businesses. Uh, helps you with scheduling, uh, invoicing, um, <clears throat> estimates, jobs, uh, pretty much everything to try to keep your scheduling organized. It's, it's pretty awesome guys, go check it out. But today we're gonna go over on actually scheduling a job or services. So let's go ahead and just kinda, kinda go through here real quick. So if you guys haven't seen my previous video, we talked about how to input customer's information into Yardbook. So now that we got the customer's information on Yardbook, now it is time to create jobs. So it's pretty simple. So this is the customer page right here that we're looking at. Okay, so we already have our customer's information input in the system. So now let's go ahead and just create a job right here. We're going to hit this button there. In the description, we could put grass cut. Property address, let's just kind of verify, make sure that's the property. It is. Okay, so scheduling. Now, you, if you do a one time, <coughs> excuse me, a one time mo, then you don't have to hit this set to recurring. However, I do weekly mows <coughs> and bi weekly mows. So by this time, I've already talked to the customer and let them know that they either can go weekly or bi weekly. So in this case, the customer said weekly. So we're going to go ahead and set that to a recurring schedule. So here you go. These are the days of uh, weekly services. And then you could choose from every other week. Or you could do a customized, um, you know, how many weeks you want. Let's say you want every six weeks or something. But we're not going to deal with that. We're going to go ahead and just leave it on weekly on Mondays. <coughs> so then next what I do is I'll come here to the calendar and we're going to start in February. So on the first Monday of February is the 3rd. So we're going to hit the 3rd. Oh, don't worry about this yet. We'll go into dip. If you guys want to know more about the uh, other features, y'all let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video. Right now, I'm just trying to make it as simple and basic as I can. So, go ahead and hit save. So, as you can see in this activity box, that it is uh, it's going to be on every Monday. And uh, it's going to be just recurring. So, that shows that we are re recurring the services every Monday and another way we could check look is looking at the uh, at the calendar so let's go ahead and look at the monthly can calendar real quick so let's go ahead and go to February it's, it's real simple guys it's a piece of cake so as you can see we got Marky B which is our customer so you could see that we got them there we got them on the 10th 17th and 24th so it's just going to, uh, I guess, recur or automatically schedule the customer for that day until you end the recurring schedule. So let's just say after, I don't know, the end of the season in October ends. What we what I do is, let's go, go ahead and go back to the customer's page real quick. <clears throat> So to end that recurring schedule, all you do is go to the activity tab and it's really easy. You just hit that button, end this recurring activity, and boom, you're you're done for that season. <coughs> but let's say let's say you have a doctor's appointment on March the 16th. 
so you're not gonna you're not gonna be working that day it's really easy to move that day um, down so you hit these double arrows here and for whatever how many days you want to move that out you can so I don't know let's just move it just one day so or two days I'm sorry so when we come back and look at the activities tab you could see right here that it did move down two days so I think that's pretty cool and if you want to delete a day let's say you're that this week you're gonna be going out of town it's pretty simple you just go hit the down arrow you could hit cancel or just delete it I usually just hit well not cancel but you could cancel it I usually just delete it and uh, I mean it's pretty it's it's that easy and as you can see right here it is it has been canceled you know that that's pretty pretty simple basic uh, just starting a starting a, a, a scheduling system for your customers and let's see what else can we do with with this here let's go ahead and end this recurring activity real quick and like I said if you if you wanted to just do a one-time mow or let's say you're gonna do a, a tree trimming job on a property you can also do that let's go ahead and refresh this alright let's say let's go ahead and do another job so we're going to add a job this time it's going to be uh, let's say a tree removal Let's say we're gonna schedule it Wednesday, March the fourth. Boom. So of course we're not gonna set the recurring schedule. We don't have to put a time. This is optional. You can. I'm not gonna do it. And boom, it's that easy. So we have the tree job or the tree removal scheduled for Wednesday, March the fourth, 2020. And what's cool is if you get the app on your phone, you're able to clock in. Uh, we'll want, let's see, let's go down to that. You're able to clock in. When you get up, when you're there at the property, you clock in. And when you're done, you complete the job and clock out. It's that simple. I mean, it's, it'll probably take you about a couple of days, three days to really really learn the basics of yard book but I really I highly suggest that if you're starting a starting your lawn care business go with yard book it's free they do have a, a paid option which uh, it's cool but just the basic I mean it you could get by with that just running your business you know every year so if you guys have any other questions on using Yardbug, y'all guys let me know in the comments below. Also, I want to know if you just started your lawn care business. And, um, yeah, let me know in whatever whatever I can help you with. Y'all guys let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely make a video or just comment below and answer your questions. So, there it is, guys. It's pretty simple to schedule your jobs. So, all right. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next video.